The gospel text for today is chosen from the gospel of Matthew chapter 9 verses 14 and 15 and the first reading from Isaiah chapter 58 verses 1 to 9. In the gospel text, Jesus makes a distinction between the external and the internal. He is asked a question by those who are watching him and his disciples about why his disciples do not fast and follow that pious practice of fasting. Jesus responds in defense of his disciples to those who make this complaint that his disciples are now not in a time of mourning, and they are in a time of the Lord's presence. And the Lord's presence is a presence that is eternal. The Lord's presence is a presence that is tangible. And because the Lord is present among them, and when the Lord is present among them, it is a time of celebration and not of mourning. There will be a time when the Lord is taken away from them, and that will be the day when they will fast. Isaiah reiterates the point which Jesus makes when he says that what God wants is not merely the following of external laws. What God wants is not merely the following of external rules and regulations and pious practices. What God wants is that the law has to be internalized, is that the law has to be done not because one is afraid of God, not because one wants to gain favor of God, not because one wants a reward for what one does, but because one is convinced in one's heart that to do good is good, that not to do Injustice is the way that to break the fetters of those who are fettered is good. That not to cheat and not to steal and not to rob and not to do any of these negative things is good. And so we need to ask ourselves, if we are persons who merely follow external laws, is our fasting merely external or will we fast today from the negatives that life keeps throwing at us from the negatives of anger in our hearts, from the negative of revenge in our hearts, from the negative of frustration and anxiety and worry in our hearts. If we fast from this, then we are listening to what Isaiah says and we are hearing the Lord when we internalize the law and make it our own. Then we do what we do not because we expect God to reward us, because God has already rewarded us in every single way. We do what we do because we have been rewarded by God. Let your fasting not merely be from the externals, but from the internals which make you a lesser person than you are.